Hello everyone, this video I will show you our new product. We have designed this two-year module that is a drop for King Kony Relay Controller so that you can use two-year application and voice control by the Amazon Alexa and by the Google Home Speak. So that will be uh, very uh, interesting for your H32 controller connect with this board. And this board just have a ESP32 module and the Tuya module. So this function just convert the Tuya cloud server date and convert to the ESP32 and send by the IS232 output or by IS485 output. So this board you can connect with your relay controller by the IS232 or by the IS485 for long distance. So that will be useful for your mixed power distribution box so that you can install it in anywhere and it will be easy to use the Tuya mobile phone application. Okay, we will look at the board details and have the demo video for you to show you how to use the Tuya application. Okay, let's look at this Tuya board that is a drop for Kinkone 32 relay controller. You can see here is the H32BS and this is H32B, but also that support uh, H32L and H32LW and H32 old version. So every H32 channel relay controller will support by this board. Use this board so that you can use the Tuya application and uh, Google Home voice country and uh, Amazon Alexa uh, for voice country so that will be very interesting okay let's first look at the hardware details uh, you can see this board that is ESP32 and this is Tuya module and this is the Wi-Fi antenna and this is SMA circuit and if you want to use the ESP32 uh, by this Wi-Fi you can install this uh, antenna at here this hole and so we can install this Wi-Fi antenna because if you install this board in your power distribution box so that you need to use the external the antenna not install inside of the box and here we can see that is the power supply so this from 9 to 24 voltage we just use 12 voltage and you can use this and you can use this socket uh, connect to this black socket also if you want don't use this socket and you can use this two hole that is 12 and ground and as other two hole that is for S485 uh, A and B so that you can connect with the H32 PS uh, uh, have a S485 so this and you can connect to with this so that will be long distance and this is type C a USB C uh, for download the code because we have already downloaded the code you just directly to use it not need to write any code and this is button reset and download for the ESP32 and this button uh, for the Tuya the network config and this have some LEDs uh, for you to for user to use actually you not need to use unless if you want to write the Arduino code to the ESP32 so this LDs can be used by yourself and also you can see this a uh, jump this a uh, jump the jump if you shot that used for IS232 if you remove it that will be work with this IS485 so these two points can't work at the same time that's used by this jump to change which part to use okay uh, that is the in front of the PCB and this is the back if you want install uh, this adapt to the thing real so this can use this one this socket uh, you can fix by screw on this you can see here so that you can install on this thing real and you can see this Tuya board just uh, this board have installed in the power distribution box uh, so that installed on the DIN rail and this is a 12 volt power supply and uh, from this power supply and also you can use the IS232 uh, connect with these controllers and also use this IS485 uh, connect with these controllers so it's up to you just 
just according to you where well, install this bird. Okay, now let's uh, take a video for demo we use for the H32BS the first time and the second we will test with the H32B and we remove this. And here you can see this board, the Tuya board, you can connect with this H32BS IS232 and the next we will connect with this IS485. Just this time we test IS232 firstly and you can see just like this and this is the antenna and we can use this power because I just test in your power distribution box we support connect with this green terminal so I can turn, connect with it and connect with the power supply and this connect with my power so you can see now the red LED is on and the red LED is on Okay, let's look at how to use the Tuya application. Uh, firstly, you can download this Tuya application from the Apple Store or by the Google Play Store. And the first time, you just need to configure the Wi-Fi SSID and the password. So make sure you have enabled the Bluetooth. And the first time, you hold down this button, that for network config. Hold on, then the red LED will be blink, uh, so that you can press this add device and it will find uh, the Wi-Fi Tuya module. Okay, you will see uh, this device have been found. Then you can press add. And this card name default is H32B Pro. You can press add. And this just input your load SSID and the password. That is my office. So you just press next. And now we're just uh, waiting for the operation. Okay, you can see that have been added successfully, uh, that Alexa also found the H32 devices. So you can press down, so that will be very easy. And now you can see uh, this is the uh, 32 button have displayed, so that at this time you can use this one. So you can see, I can press on, you can see uh, the output one is on. And here you can see I press this second that will be on. And also we can use my computer. You can see I can turn on out of the one. You can see my mobile phone. Uh, the state will be updated. And if I turn all on, you can see. And a little, you can see. Oh, 32 but will be turned red. That is full on. So this is can update the state of uh, output and this is all off you can see here is all off so this is updated state from the computer and also you can see I can click this one is all on by my mobile phone and this is all off and you can see the state is updated okay now if you want to use Alexa for voice country so that you just go to me and you can see here the Alexa and the Google. So you can just use the same way to you enable the voice country. So if you have used Alexa, we just click Alexa. And I have login, so you can re-login. The first time you will need to login because I have login. So I can just click and let you see. Just click link. So the Twitter account will link with your Alexa account. So you can see the Tuya skill now is linked. So now you can use uh, Alexa for the voice country or country by your Alexa application. So you can see uh, this H32 name that the first channel is called switch and the second channel is called motor. So we can speak to Alexa, Alexa, turn on switch. Okay. Okay, you can see uh, the switch is turned on, that is channel 1, so the mobile phone also is on. And Alexa, turn on Moto. Okay. Uh, you can see the second, that's called Moto. Alexa, turn off Moto. Okay. Okay, you can see uh, the Moto is off. And we can test how much channel can be supported by the Tuya and by the Alexa. You can see I have create a 31 and a 32. So if you control 32 channel, you just speak to Alexa. Turn on switch 32. Okay. 
Okay, you can see the 32 is on, and the mobile phone also is on. Alexa, turn on switch 31. Okay. Okay, you can see this is 31. Alexa, turn on H32BS. Okay. Okay, you can see all 32 channel is on, and my mobile phone all is on. That's just called H32BS, this device name. So if you want to turn all off of H32BS, all channels, you just speak to Alexa. Alexa, turn off H32BS. Did you mean H32BS? Yes. Okay. Okay, you can see all channel is off uh, by this voice country and uh, the Alexa and uh, the Tuya application is updated. So you can use country for any output channel. So you can use uh, just on and off and country independently, or you can press all on and all off. So this by your mobile phone, and you can use voice country. And also, you if you have used Tuya application, you can use the sense mode, and you can use the input sense and triangle output. So all support Tuya device, uh, you can triangle. Uh, the second brand product triangle this H32BS, or use this H32BS triangle that the third part of the product. And also, you can see here the smart, you can create many things mode and for the timing timer you can see if you have used a timer uh, you can use this like this switch and you can create schedule and every day or every week and what time is on and what time is off so this is for time that will be used for and also you can see here the setting the setting yet yeah, that is sixth input state monitor you can see i can use a wire uh, you can see i can use this one that is ground bracket ground and i have shot for this input uh, you can see the input one is turn green and i remove this one so that the input will be recovered so this is input two so that and the input six. So you can see here that can Im monitor the input state of your sensor. So this is also very useful function. So, and uh, this update time is for every six seconds. So we have write the code uh, in the Arduino. So that will be updated for every six seconds. So that uh, this is how to use the Tuya application and for the voice country and by the S232. And then now I can use this board and connect to H32B. You can see I can remove this power and remove this power and remove this network and remove this board. And this time I can use for H32B because this is really inside, so I can just connect to, to this COM port. And just power on. You can see I can power and power on. Then wait for a moment. Because this time the LED is not blink, uh, we have already configured the SSID and the password. And the S232 protocol uh, with the H32BS and H32B and any H32 relay country is seen. So you can use this to adapt for any relay country, just H32 channel. And you can see, you can see I can press this button one. Uh, you can see uh, this is, here is channel one. So also I can turn on 32, that is 32, and I turn off, and I turn on uh, 31, turn off 31, and I use voice country. Alexa, turn on switch 31. Okay. Uh, you can see 31 is on. Alexa, 
turn off switch 31. Okay. Alexa, turn off 30, switch 32. Okay. Uh, you can see 32 is off. Uh, so this board also can use for H32B. So that will be work fine. Okay, now I will show you how to use this board uh, work with H32BS by RS485. Because sometimes the board and the controller is long distance, so also can use. Okay, let's look at this solution. I will also record uh, my mobile phone and uh, for use Tuya controlling this uh, system. And this time you can see this is Tuya module. You can see I have installed on the thing wheel. Maybe the H32PS is long distance with the Tuya module. So this time I have removed this jump. Uh, this uh, jump, I have removed it because I have used IS485. Uh, this cable just use the CAT5 network cable. And this one, uh, green and red, uh, the green and the white is connected with this one, uh, green and the white. So I have used the hole. Uh, you can see uh, this is uh, 300 meters and actually use 1000 meters is no problem. So I have used for the testing. So this cable, this point and this point, uh, this two between uh, 300 meters. So now we can use this Tuya application. You can see I can use turn on the first channel. Uh, you can see the first channel is on. And also I can press this button. And this is off. And this is also off. You can see I press this button. That will be on, this on, and this second on. Because this on first and update state second to this application, to mobile phone. So you can see I can turn on and also I can turn all on so that I can press that will be all on and I can press this all off so that will all off first is the second will update the state so the voice country also is no problem you can see I can speak Alexa Alexa turn on switch okay Alexa, turn off switch. Okay. So you can see a voice country also is no problem. So you can use the same way, just click me. If you want to use Google Home, you just Google Assistant, just enable and the link with your Google Home account. So that will be as soon as you use this Alexa speak, will be very easy. Okay, this is how to use the Tuya adapt for King Kong 32 channel relay controller uh, that will be for voice country and by the 3 application okay thanks for watching